Hey, what's going on, YouTube? You got the old Mongo man with you out here in Mongo's Garage tonight. Monday evening, uh, currently 10 after 10. Uh, tonight, we got some more FBAD done. Uh, for those of you who are wondering what FBAD stands for, that is Foam Board Aided Design. Uh, the aft and forward bulkheads, actually the mid bulkhead, because I am going to put a forward in. There wasn't a forward in the boat originally. But I am going to put a forward bulkhead in it. Uh, that's going to be forward of the ski locker. So the aft and the mid bulkheads uh, are cut out and placed in the boat. Uh, they're definitely not, you know, tabbed in or done anything like that yet. But they're uh, they're sitting in there. So let's take a look and see what we did there. So as you can see, that's the four bulk or the mid bulkhead there. Uh, cut the size and lay it in there and then the uh, the aft bulkhead is also cut the size and lay it in there they're perfectly level side to side uh, I don't know how that happened I guess every blind squirrel finds an acorn once in a while but uh, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out so what will happen from here I still have the forward bulkhead to figure out and that's going to go right up above the uh, uh, that mat that you see there i'm going to put one there and that'll give me a pretty good uh you know i want to at least a six maybe seven foot ski blocker but i definitely want to put one up there i'll probably put a half moon in it to retain clearance for the skis and the wake boards or whatever it is we're going to put down there to slide up underneath of it now what you don't see uh, i haven't cut the water passage in these i haven't done any of the uh any of the lap joints so essentially what you're seeing is uh, just raw, uh, you know, that's the first stage. You know, like I said, I'm definitely pretty happy with how they're fitting the hull. Uh, they're both standing upright straight, and that is marine grade ABX. So it's A on one side, B on the other side, and it has exterior grade glue in it. Um, so what will happen, like I was saying, is I'll mix up some, uh, some resin. And by the way, I did get all my stuff in from Total Boat. So uh, I got a bunch of 1708, all my resin, my mixing cups, my foam, everything is here. So once I get all the wood cut, we'll be able to start getting everything in resin. And these will all be pre-treated, uh, as will all the wood that goes into the boat, uh, including all that stuff that's cut and laying over there for cushions. All this foam needs to go over to the, uh, over to the interior shop so that uh, Cheryl can get started on that. And we're in the preparations right now of getting ready for vacation. Uh, I'm actually off this Friday and all next week we're going to a wedding and uh, gonna take some time off and relax and you know do the, uh, do the beach thing. Uh, that is gonna take me uh, uh, away from the projects here at Mongo's Garage for a week, but that probably isn't a bad thing. You know, get uh, rejuvenated and charge the batteries up and get ready to put a, a real good push on Phoenix here and get her uh, to the point where we can start seeing some real progress. But, you know, I think this is real progress, being able to see uh, the interior completely gutted and new wood starting to go into it. And then uh, you can see over there against the wall, that's the piece of three quarter that we cut the aft and mid bulkheads out of. And that's the plywood that we got left over, so. Uh, one thing I did want to address is yesterday in the, uh, in the Sunday update, essentially I, uh, you guys saw me doing some welding on KJ's trailer and I cut this ramp up. Uh, in that video, if you guys read the description, like I said, my descriptions have uh, very descriptive items of what all I've got going on, what my plans are, you know, nine times out of 10, the videos are more uh, visual than descriptive. I don't like to uh, talk too much over the videos. Who am I kidding? Yeah, I do. Sometimes I'm a little vague about what my plans are though. So what these are gonna be are extensions for his trailer for the Corn Pro that's sitting out there. You can't see it right now, or maybe you can, I don't know. And what that's for is uh, when we're trying to load the B, my uh, Kubota B, it actually sometimes will catch in the middle, so those ramps have to be a little longer. 
And the reason I didn't continue on with it is because I have to figure out, uh, I got to put an inch and five eighths uh, spacer on either side. And what I'm talking about is I'm going to build these sides up an inch and five eighths out on both sides here. And then there'll be a long piece of flat stock that comes up off of there that will fit into either side of the uh, original ramps. And then I'm going to slide two pins and cotter keys, or not cotter keys, but spring clips, you know what I mean, in there. Uh, and that'll be the extensions. And the reason I want to do that is because those ramps, as you saw on that video, tuck <clears throat> really neatly up underneath of uh, of that corn pro and i want to retain that ability to be able to tuck them up under there uh, so i don't want to attach those extensions permanently but i want them just pinned on there to where i can slip the pins out take the extensions off throw those up in the bed or maybe i'll make uh, pockets for them in the front of the trailer that way they just slide on the trailer and you always have them with you if you need them but uh, that's the plans that's obviously a longer project uh, i was just getting started with it just getting things measured up so that I could figure out what size I need to start figuring out uh, what kind of material I need to get that done. I do have racks behind the garage clear full of material, but uh, it was god awful hot yesterday. As it is right now, it's still pretty humid out here. Uh, we were supposed to get some storms today. We got a little bit of rain, but not much. Just made it way more humid. So uh, just uh, wanted to bring you up to date. I did get a phone call from uh, my brother saying that... Uh, a couple of my viewers, maybe at least one, uh, Mr. Lingauer, was questioning what it was I was doing, and I just wanted to give you guys an explanation just in case somebody else didn't understand what I was doing there. So uh, that's all I got for tonight. Happy I got those bulkheads in tonight. I uh, got them cut anyway. They're not in. Man, the bugs. And it's still early, uh, early summer, late spring. Oh, I guess spring is over. It is definitely summer. So, All right. Uh... That's all for now. You guys, uh, thanks for hanging out with us here at Mongo's Garage, and uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Mongo Man is out. Nice short video tonight. See you later.